pre-ride, went and stopped at one of the main bike shops on the island uh, and was fortunate enough that the owner, Grant, uh, helped us out uh, in kind. He uh, loaned us some equipment, some stuff that we, we didn't have, air pump, which we used over and over and over, ice chests and so forth. And what did a, did a really nice uh, tour of his bike shop, which, man, what a place. We're here at the Bike Works with uh, Grant. Yep. And uh, we're just here to, you know, get a little bit of service before our ride and get to know uh, you a little bit in your, in your uh, bike shop here. Yep. You could uh, give us a little tour and a little information like how you got started and... Sure. Um, yeah, about 35 years ago, I was uh, visiting the Big Island, doing a bike trip around the island and um, kind of fell in love. I was also into triathlon. So um, I went back home, sold all my stuff, brought over a fleet of bikes and uh, started from there. The plan was to like rent the bikes out in the morning, go surfing, riding, whatever all day, come back, collect the bikes and it'd be a great life. But three jobs later and uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, it, it was a lot of work, but um, bike work slowly expanded and we are what we are today. Yeah, wow, so, this is a really nice facility too. I, you have a little bit of everything, it looks like some sports gear. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have, uh, we, we, we call ourselves a family shop. We do everything from little kids' bikes with training wheels to $15,000 triathlon bikes and um, everything in between. Um, I really have passion for triathlon, but also mountain biking. Um, so we do a lot of mountain bike stuff too. And um, um, yeah, it's, it's been a nice. We have a running shoe department over there. So we have a large large part of our business is running and swimming. Um, you don't have to be a triathlete, but you can still come in and get running shoes or swimming gear over here. So, yeah. Very nice, yeah, one-stop shop. Yeah. A little bit of everything here for everybody. What's it like to bike here on a regular basis on uh, the Big Island? I mean, there's so many different climates here and yeah. terrain. Yeah, they say there's 13 major climates in the world and the Big Island has 11 of them. So um, you get a little bit of everything here. The, I guarantee on your ride, you'll say, wow, this is just like at home for a small portion of it. So um, unless you live on Mars or something. But um, so yeah, riding here is pretty much 360 days or 365 a year. Um, well, there's five days of rain. So, <laughs> you know. but um, yeah. Is definitely a big difference between winter riding and summer riding, though. So, um, wow. summer's just starting to crank up right now. So you have to drink a lot more water, and you'll you'll deplete yourself way easier right. in these hot months. Your season's just starting to ramp up here. Uh, I know that there's an Ironman uh, coming up next weekend, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we have three big triathlons. Actually, one of our biggest ones is Olympic distance biggest being volume of people. Um, the Lava Man Triathlon is at the end of uh, end of May, beginning of April usually. Okay. And um, lot, that's our beginner race. And tons of people come and do that. A lot of Alaskans come over because they're sick of winter. So um, and they do really well because they train on their bikes and their, on their trainers and um, get really good workouts in. And then we have the Half Iron Man in June which is what we're ramping up for right now. And then obviously in October is the world championships. Right. Legendary, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I since I've been riding on the islands here recently, you know, I have a whole new respect mm. for island miles. Yeah, um, yeah. Definitely. A lot, a, a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to the big island, or I'm going to Hawaii, I'm gonna be riding along the beach, all along the coast. In reality, they're facing really strong winds and <laughs> hills, lots and lots of hills. We're on the, we're on a volcano, so wherever you go, you, you got to go up a hill. Right. And some of the steepest hills you'll you'll experience. Actually, the Mauna Kea ride is um, rated as the single hardest hill climb in the world. If wow. you start at the ocean 
go to the top, it's number one in the world. Wow. So. For writing, you know, here, is there any advice, any, uh, you know, safety? My biggest thing, uh, safety thing about riding on the Big Island is actually trying to make a connection with the drivers and that you can do that several different ways. If you have a driver in front of you, like at an intersection or something, I find it's very helpful to wave and make that eye contact. And it's a friendly gesture, but the human brain is designed to, I mean, since you're a little baby, waving. So it picks up waves better than just a cyclist with his brakes, his hands on his brakes. So the wave is more important, in my opinion. And then you can also make a uh, connection with a driver. Say a driver's coming up behind you and you um, just hold your line on the road. You're not really making a positive connection with that driver who's right. coming up behind you. But if you move over even just a couple of feet, that tells the driver, oh, that cyclist heard me. He's moving over a little bit. Wish he'd move over more, but that's as far as he must be able to go everything's good and so, he realizes you you understand that he's there yeah gotcha. yeah yeah so making a connection with the driver is i think a really good idea and uh, safer than just holding your line and yeah wow, that's excellent yeah uh, makes sense uh, uh maybe a little shock um would be yeah a little uh, shock is yeah, good a little shock yeah, is good yeah yeah uh with a little but, aloha behind that a soft yeah one. yeah i i do think the writing on the big island is probably a little above average uh, nationwide is what what our customers tell us um, so most people are pretty good about um, giving the cyclists room and but every community's got their little problem childs though so right but uh well thank you for uh the safety tips and, and letting us uh check out your nice shop here we really appreciate it um and so good to meet you yeah nice thanks, to meet Frank. you too thank you thanks i recommend if you do come over here for a bike ride I'd stop in to Grant's shop there, the bike works, and you know, ask him, uh, you know, ask him how uh, what the conditions are at the time. There's a lot of different climates here, and uh, boy, he was really helpful with the information, helping prepare us for this ride.